Hello everyone and welcome to my video that will teach you how to create a in my something era printable to sell in your Etsy shop. Okay, so you've probably seen this everywhere. This, you know, in my era with the retro font. It's really popular right now to be like in my mom era, in my dog era, in my this or that era. It's really popular. So how can we use this idea for a best selling printable product idea? So just so you know, stuff like this, the font like this is created in Adobe Illustrator, but we don't have Adobe Illustrator. We want to create this in Canvas. So how can we do that? Well, if you have seen um, my pennant flag video, you'll know that uh, there is a wavy flag style font creator in Canva. It's an app and it's called Typecraft. The problem with Typecraft is you can't import your own custom font to use into Typecraft, so you are stuck using the fonts that they have. And unfortunately, they do not have a retro font like this one. So you can go to somewhere like Creative Fabrica and just know that you can only upload your own custom fonts into Canva uh, if you have Canva Pro. But if you have the free version of Canva, you can go in, this is the final product I'm gonna teach you how to make. You can go into Canva and you can type in retro into the fonts and it'll give you a list of retro fonts that it has available. I personally wanted to be very specific for my font choice with my project. So I went ahead and I, cause I do have Canva Pro. Um, you, uh, this is the font that I want here, Howdy Retro. I like this font because I liked, um, I liked the ends in this font. It's also fun. It's a little retro cowboyish. So if you're selling anything in the Nashville Bachelorette niche, this would be a very popular font. It's a very popular font right now to use on any project that's a printable. It's super catchy. People love it. So what you would do is you would download the font so that you can import it into your Canva account. You have to open it. You have to extract all the files. And then you will go to Canva to import the font. To do that, you will go home to Canva. From the home screen, you'll click on brand here. You'll click on brand kits. You'll grab a brand kit. And then you will go to fonts, scroll down, add new, upload a font, add new. And then I will find the font, Howdy Retro. And then I'm going to choose the OTF font. Yes, upload anyway. So then once it uploads, we are going to create in this wavy font style um, using Canva just by strategically and thoughtfully placing the, um, the font where we want it to go. So this is the end product I want to make. I, I saw that for back to school in my first grade era, in my third grade era, stuff like that. Signs for back to school for that sold really well. I like to research and reapply ideas. So then I said, okay, what could I do? And I thought of in my trick or treat era. I thought that would be really cute. You could also do it for anything else related to a child. They can hold the sign. People could take pictures. It's like a photo prop, really. So what you're going to do to make this is you're gonna grab a text box. Then you're gonna change the font to that howdy. Oh, I have to reopen this because I had it open before I uploaded the font. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to howdy. There it is. So then I have that here and I look at this and I say, okay, uh, the N is big. The M is kind of wavy across that middle part. So then we go back to our design. And it's all capital letters too. So N, I start by typing the first letter. And then I'll do the next one. And we look again and we see it's just a little bit maybe bigger. And then you will paste again. And then 
we see this is a little bit higher. It's a little smaller. And you see here, I'm just doing like individual text boxes so that I can make it look wavy. And then I'm going to paste again. And then I have, I'm going to do trick or treat, but it's pretty long. So you'll have to uh, make it a little tiny. So we have, we're going to make a little wavy trick or treat. And we want to kind of follow, you know, this kind of downward swoop that we made right there. So we're going to strategically do that and not too close. You don't want it to look smushed together. So then we have this. I want to make sure these look close enough. And how I override that snapping feature of Canvas, I hold the control button at the same time and I can place things wherever I want. All right. Trick. And then I'm going to do the word or as little in the middle like this. And then I'm going to take this trick. I'm going to copy it, select them all, paste it. And then I'm going to make sure that this all fits by highlighting everything. So again, all I did was just highlight everything. Make sure you don't grab these. So highlight the bottoms of these and then you can kind of do what you want there. So then we go, okay, this kind of went down and then it goes up. So we can make this go up. And then we're making, thoughtfully doing this, trick or treat. And we like that. And then the word era. So then we see era is, it's like a little e, a little bit bigger r, and then a bigger a. So we have the little e. We're going to do an R and then we're going to make that bigger and then we're going to copy that and paste it to be our A. Put this here, here, make that a little bigger. And we're going to highlight all that. And then we're going to center it. All right. And then I like to take it, kind of make it centered like that. So then what I did in my example here is I gave it like Halloween colors. So you can take each individual letter and give it that purple, orange, black, purple. You can just kind of like choose whichever colors you think are cute and would make sense for your product. I just kind of, I might do. Think about purple is you want to print it out to make sure it won't look this bright. So you want to make sure it prints and it looks nice because purple on here is backlit. And when you print it out, it's much duller. So you want to make sure that the purple you use is the closest on the screen is closest to what it'll look printed. So definitely print and print this out to make sure that it'll look nice when you sell it. All right. So you see what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, choosing different letters to make them different colors and then we can have that one be you know orange purple and then black and then what i what i wanted to do is um you know here they have these little stars so you could do that too or you could do other kind of clip art you can do something like this or you can do you can type in like stars and graphics and if you want it for a little kid, you might make it more whimsical, something like that. Or you can do, I typed in cute Halloween too, to get Halloween specific clip art. And then I found these stars that were already the colors and you can change the colors when you highlight it. it let's say you hover over like this and you can't find, can't highlight your clip art. You can go to position layers and go here and select it and then move it over here or wherever. You can put that there and you can obviously change the, the colors if you want a little black in there. 
And then um, I liked this little spider. I thought it was so cute. <laughs> so just put that guy there and you do position backwards so that it's um, arranged. It's already to the back. So it's kind of like hanging from that M. And you can add other little clip art. Like our bat friend here. Gosh, layers. Let's grab our bat. And then you can do somewhere over here. Then we could maybe do more of these little stars, but make them smaller in different random places. And you can spin them too to make it not look like the exact same thing. I'll do that to make it look more random. And there you go. You have a in my trick or treat era and you can assign uh, and you can customize this by, you know, you can make this right here a little bit smaller. And you can make the gear. You could say, you know, copy that 2024 or something like that. Whoops, I lost my 2024. OK, and then we can do this, make it smaller at the bottom and then we can move everything up so that it's in. The design and you could do something like that or you can move these guys over here I lost I lost my bat that's okay and there you go and then you can make that maybe make that down here a little bit <laughs> we got our bat back and then move these guys down and then there you go Center it. Super cute. And that's how you can quickly make a product. I would do size 8 by 10. This is 8 by 10. You can do US letter. You can make it in size A4. You can make it in 11 by 14, 11 by 17, whatever the popular sign sizes are. You could even sell this as bulletin board decor for a teacher's classroom. There's so many things you can do this. You can make it a photo prop for an adult party. Um, so many things. So have fun with this idea and turn it into best-selling, awesome printable products for your Etsy shop.